the sound before the sun. I knew the night had gone, the morning a breeze like a bugle blue. Against the drums of dawn, lay down your weary tune. Lay down, lay down the song. My name is Mike Block. I'm a uh, I'm pulling double duty here. I'm so excited to uh, to be performing and broadcasting for the Silk Road Home Sessions. Um, I've been playing with the Silk Road Ensemble for well since 2005, um, so it's been a while. And uh, you know, there's so many of us are affected by. All the things that are going down with COVID, so we're just really excited to be able to share some music with all of you um, through the interwebs. Uh, that first song, as uh, the caption on Facebook Live uh, says, is uh, it's a Bob Dylan cover. Seemed an appropriate way to start this little performance. Uh, Lay down your weary tune. It's not one of his most famous songs, but it's uh, it's got a beautiful message and really just kind of offering offering our music up to nature and to the world. And uh, that's kind of what that song is about. I actually uh, originally recorded that song, um, and it's, it's on an album of mine called Walls of Time. And um, it, I recorded it with a Nigerian kora player uh, named Tunde Jigere, who has done some other things with Silk Road, actually, as well. 
And so uh, kind of when I play it solo now, you can hear the, the pizzicato effect. Uh, I'm kind of trying to evoke the sound of the Cora that Tune Day brought to that tune. It was a really special track. Um, I am going to play you a much louder song now. Um, I'm going to play you an original song. This one's called Home Plate. Um, I have a, well actually I, I've recorded this song with a band and so now when I play this song solo I imagine myself surrounded by you know drummers and guitarists and bass players and harmony vocalists and it's like you know there's a whole there's a whole stage in my head and uh, you can't see them because they're not there uh, I just wanted you to know that I'm imagining them uh, so uh, my band and I are going to play uh, Home Plate. I'm done in. 
Thanks so much for joining in. Uh, let me just drink some water here. I'm gonna catch my breath and check out some of these comments here. How you all doing? You guys staying healthy? You guys staying home? Ooh, it's nice to see some friends out there in comment world and also friends that I haven't met yet. Um, my background on cello, you know, for cellists everywhere is, is really classical music. And uh, so uh, I recorded the Bach, the complete Bach cello suites last year and released it recently. And, and essentially, uh, now that I've done that, I want to avoid practicing Bach as much as possible. So uh, I was thinking about, you know, what makes Bach fantastic. And sometimes in uh in like classical conversations we talk about how great composers make great de uh, decisions and uh, so i was thinking well what if i took all of these decisions that bach made and i tried to make the opposite decision um so i took like a very famous piece of bach you know the the prelude from the first cello suite <laughs> It's beautiful. Um, I wanted to take a piece that people might recognize and and uh, and try and essentially make tell the same story that Bach told, but with different decisions. So, uh, you know, I stole like the harmonic map of this piece, uh, and so that I could tell the same story as Bach. But every time he went up, I went down. Every time he went left. I went right. And uh, every time he painted red, I painted a triangle. So uh, this is my bizarro world, upside down version of Bach's uh, first prelude for cello. And you know, the thing about decisions that Bach made, some are big, some are small, and uh, some he wouldn't have made even consciously at all. He would have just made assumptions and his, uh, his first assumption might have been that the cellist would have used a bow. So I will not use a bow. This is a piece called Prelude to a Dream.
So, um, I want to check in with the comments and uh, see what you guys want to talk about. See if you guys have any requests. I got it. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to um, move the Instagram camera for that second one. But everybody on Facebook, I think, had a good view. Um, let's see. Michael Reyna has some interesting things to say. Yeah, well, how about, uh, there was one other piece I for sure wanted to play today, and, uh, you know, I teach at the Berklee College of Music and the New England Conservatory uh, here in Boston, and, you know, all the shutdowns with the virus are heartbreaking for everybody, uh, but it's particularly sad for some of our students who, um, who just had to go home, like, on two days' notice. And like, especially the seniors, uh, they don't even really get to finish their college experience. And uh, we didn't even really get to say goodbye to everybody. Um, so it's kind of a, a really surreal and sad way to end the school year. Um, you know, where everybody's living on Zoom now. Um, but speaking of which, I'm gonna shoot a music video on Zoom on Friday and you're all invited. Uh, I'll post the link on my Facebook page. Um, I've got a song that needs some uh, dancing. And so if you're ready to dance, you can uh, go to the face my Facebook page there. It's uh, posted and, uh, and I'll, I'll share the Zoom link and then we can uh, record the Zoom thing for a dance party. Uh, but anyway, everything's happening on Zoom. So we're still keeping in touch with the students. But uh, I put together a funny cover it's actually not funny at all. It's funny in that uh, it's I've kind of inverted um, the energy level of a really classic rock song, "School's Out for Summer," by Alice Cooper. Spend 
Well, everybody, we're almost done with this little shindig we got. Um, but let me check in on the count, the comments. Oh, Michele Rine. Thank you, Michele. Um, is anybody, uh, oh, I see some requests here. Hey, Bailey. Um, let's see. Actually, the, everybody at Silk Road were kind of inspired by Yo-Yo, um, always, obviously. And uh, he, his first uh, hashtag song of comfort that he played it was actually um, kind of a, his solo rendition of a piece from a recent Silk Road album called Going Home. And uh, coincidentally, I also wrote a song uh, called Going Home at one point. And uh, I think I'll end the broadcast with this song. It's kind of this funny thing, because musicians, we usually spend all of our time wanting to get home. Uh, and it's really hard to travel all the time. And so this song was written from that mindset of, you know, wanting to get home. Uh, now, um, we've all kind of gotten that wish uh, to an extreme degree. Um, but, uh, I'm going to sing this song anyway, and, uh, thank you all for watching, and thanks for Silk Road for helping, uh, host this performance, and, uh, there's many more coming up at, uh, Silk Road Home Sessions, so check out the series and the calendar, and you can see a bunch of, uh, our kind of ensemble colleagues perform, um, from wherever they are in the world. Um, and I'm going to remind you that you guys are all invited to the Zoom dance party. Uh, we're gonna shoot a music video for uh, an original song of mine. So just go to, to my Facebook page and I'll post the link. Uh, it's gonna be 4 p.m. on Friday and uh, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, this last song is called Going Home.
thank you all for tuning in. This is the end of my Silk Road home session. And um, hope to see you around. Stay safe. Stay home. Stay healthy. Thanks.